Hello there. Um, so one of anything. One of my awesome subscribers suggested that I do a little more Google trending with some of um, these Mandela effect changes to try and make some more comparisons and perhaps find some more specific dates or some correlation. So here goes. First off, for those of you that aren't familiar with Google Trends, it's really easy. Just go to Google, type in Google Trends like I did here, then this will pop up. And hopefully I am not going to have this say not responding like it's been doing all morning. Otherwise, I might bore you guys to death. So the first thing obviously that I thought of was the Berenstein Bears. And now when you do this, you you need to type in um, the way that we remember spelling it. You know, you could do a comp comparison between how we remember spelling it and how it is currently spelled. Um, but for now, I'm just going to do this type of comparison that I have in mind. <clears throat> And this goes from 2004 until the present time. It'll show you a graph, you know, based on the amount of, of searches, web searches. That's what I have it on right here. Okay, and as you can see, you know, it's got a little, little bit of spikes here and there. Big one here, August 2015. So then to compare... I'm going to put in Luke, I am your father, as we remember the line. And now the Berenstein will be in blue and the Luke will be in red. And it will show a comparison for that time period. I thought this was interesting because the spikes are pretty similar. You know, we've got it here in May 2005, March 2005. December 2005, um, March 2012, big one here for the Berenstain Bears in August 2015, and then the Luke one, December 2015, and then of course, you know, presently. Now the other one I thought I would throw in there would be Febreze, as at least I remember it being spelled. Um, now, this one, even though it, it doesn't really, don't notice it's spiking in a pattern to match the other two, um, it is a little bit interesting, you know, that it, it shows people searching for it back here, and then it kind of tapers off and, and goes along there. Now, this next one was actually a little more dramatic. Um, Looney Tunes, as I remember it spelled. And this one will be in green. Now it starts off way, really high back here in 2004, and it just kind of gradually goes down, 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 almost like you know that's how people remembered it, and then they forgot it. I don't know. But I thought that one was um, a little bit interesting. Now, if you, and I already had to read this video once because the map wasn't working. See, see, see. But that's okay because I was prepared this time. Ha ha. There it is. It's the same things. I switched the words around to get that stupid map, the region thing to work. Um. So this is all in general, the different countries that are searching for those particular um, terms, how those words were spelled. So Looney Tunes, you can see here it's kind of spread throughout. And then if you look over here, I mean, you've got people searching Looney Tune episodes with that spelling and Wiki with that spelling. I don't know what that is. And, sorry about that, guys. Come on. Okay, Febreze, 
that's more mostly just a United States thing. And Berenstein Bears. Oh, why does he keep jumping around? Stop it. A uh, North America thing. And then Luke, I am your father. Also, mostly a North America thing. The Looney Tunes one, though, that one is interesting. Um, so it's, this is kind of an interesting um, thing to experiment with. I threw this video together really quick, and um, those are the only four searches that I could think of just right at the top of my head at the last minute. If you guys um, can think of some others, you know, just go to Google and type in Google Trends and take it from there. And it's you could experiment with all sorts of things. You know, you could put in Febreze and Febreze and what else? Uh, vapor rub, vapor rub. <laughs> you know, just to see when when people were searching for one particular thing and then searching for the other thing, and and you you get what I mean. So, anyways, just that quick video, little tutorial, and um, on that I will leave you guys for now. And I hope that you all have a great day, and I'll talk to you later.